Hi guys, I'm going to show you two things here quickly. This little lock here is for locking it when it's on the table. If the instrument's not moving up and down or if it's not in use, it is advised to use that. Just unscrew that. You can see you can move it left and right. And now we're going to do a little packing video. If you line this up here and you just screw this in, this is when you guys are going to ship it to us or you're going to be moving it via the box. Just screw that in all the way. Quite a long screw. There you go. Leave this one alone completely. You'll see now you can't move it anyway. And then take the head all the way down. Just like that. Don't force it or you will break the joystick. And just if you could as well, just take the chin rest all the way down. Good day, how's it guys? Now we're going to line up a patient, Elias over here has volunteered. So first you'll see a line over here, his eye will have to line up with that and the chin rest cup over here so he can look inside, he'll see a hot air balloon on his side. Okay, just sit in there, chin rest all the way in, forehead all the way in, you see you line up the eye there, just up and down here, just makes it easier for the patient here, do, do, do. from this side. And what you would do it up and down over here, you can see his eye. We would move in closer so you can see the Myers. I have it on manual now. That's the best image, and you just fire away. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Good day, guys. How are you? I hope everything is well. Today, we're going to do a little video on cleaning the lens on the auto refractor, the PRK 5000. First we look inside if there's any marks or finger marks inside there, maybe makeup or that kind of stuff. Shine a light on the interior lens, use a alcohol swab, put it around your little earbud and insert that there and clean it in there. That, that you will usually do if it's giving incorrect readings on the test eye. So you would try and get inside there nicely and again yeah on the K readings. What you do is just remember it will leave a residue so right after you do that you would have to clean it off and then always shine a light on that lens when you clean it so you can see the residue and that will be completely gone once you are finished okay. first take off the cover we're going to replace the printer paper now you will see this little bit now push if it breaks or something, these can be ordered from us. Just let us know. You'll see the direction of the paper this way. This is obviously the thermal side. And you'll take this over this way. And push it down. You'll see it already feeds. You can press the printer paper. There we go. Just kind of makes it straight again. Cool. Hi, guys. Please make a note of the amperage of the fuses. It's 3.15 amp hours. It is here and over here as well. Just remove the fuse like this. Press and turn. Pulls out as easily. Chip. Yeah. Okay, and you're just going to do a continuity test on a fuse. You would see there there's ohms and diode test and a little speaker. So you would put it on there. If you put the two testes together, it beeps. So this fuse is working, I'll get a beep. Don't have a broken fuse here. Let's see, maybe this one. Yeah. This will be an example of a broken fuse. No, no beep. There we go. Testing 220 on the incomer after the fuses. You'll see the kettle plug is now plugged in. We put it back on the power supply. Like this. There we go. And you would change your multimeter to DC over there. And then you must check the voltage on the outgoing over there. There we get 15 volts. Let's check the multimeter. 